here we are, 3D printing an Abloy Classic Key. Just give you a quick view of the messy shop. Here we have the lock in question. And I already have printed a key before without support, but one of the cuts needed a little bit of filing. It was a bit too uh, extreme of an angle. So we're printing now with support and seeing how that works. If we see here, you can see it works, I would say, pretty well. Um, this is a 10 disc model. So that's what we have. Um, so we're going to see here, we're just about done. <clears throat> we're going to see if the Let me see if the supports work. This has been, and there we have it. This has been an 11 min, minute print, including the preheating time. So we'll get this off the plate. A little bit harder when it's hot. And this is printed in uh, PTG, so hopefully that will mean a stronger material. And I just need something to see. I'll just cut off and remove this support here. See how easily it comes off. I don't know if it'll come off all that easily. Because I did I did print it pretty close. So, let's see if after, okay, I think I got the support material out. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with the razor here. Hopefully you can see this, just to get some of the flashing from the support out. So hopefully that it works pretty well on the lock. Now support was only needed on this key on one specific cut. So really um, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5 are all fine. But it's the one cuts that need a, a real low, you know, they, if, for how I print it face down, they have a real um, low angle, but they're still off the plate. So... Let's see if that worked. I don't know if it's going to work, but hopefully we will find out. There's a little bit more plastic there to get off. Let's see if I'm all the way to the back. Okay. And there we have it. You can see. Oh wait. You can see we are controlling the back cam. So I'm sure with a little bit of filing, this will. You could make this smooth up and get the angle just right. But you know, right out of the box, um, or right <laughs> the box, right off the printer, you can get relatively a working key. Um, you know, and. 11 minutes, 15 minutes. So I don't know that it's necessarily going to be as amazing as a metal key, but PTG I found is pretty strong. It has a little bit of flex, a little bit of give, so I think it's going to be better over time than your standard PLA. Um, but there you have it.